Welcome back. This is the second part of the complete guide to crested gecko morphs where we're going to talk about all the designer morphs in crested geckos. first designer morph we're going to talk about has to be the super stripe. The super stripe is basically a quad stripe with a filled out back with a thin line of pattern that runs down the middle of the dorsal. One of my f absolute favorites and one of the like the holy grail of pinstripes basically. One of the most popular crested geckos in recent time have to be the all black crested geckos. A jet black base, it could either come with harlequin, pinstripe, or flame variations, or it could come as a patternist in an all black or solid black animal. I have also seen and had black pinstripes, black phantom pinstripes, black flames, black harlequins, and pretty much everything in between. Solid dorsal crested geckos are usually pinstripes or harlequins that have little to no pattern on their dorsal. That means it is completely filled out with cream or white and obviously the more solid it is, the more desirable it is. Next up is another one of my favorites. I mean, let's face it, they're all my favorites, but this one is the creamsicle. A creamsicle is a orange based gecko with white or high white cream markings on the dorsal and on the sides. Creamsicles can come in pinstripe variations or harlequin variations. One of the most popular combinations of all time have to be the red and cream crested geckos. These guys can come in harlequin variations, pinstripe variations and more. Most red harlequins will have yellow markings but the distinction between the red harlequin and the red and cream harlequin would obviously be the dorsal and the high cream on the sides or on the limbs. A blonde harlequin is a black base crested gecko with high bright yellow markings on the dorsal and on the sides. The Halloween harlequin is a black base crested gecko that has saturated orange markings all around their body and on their dorsal. One of my favorite crested gecko morphs and one that I specialize here at Tiki's Geckos is the cream on cream crested geckos. As the name suggests, these guys have a cream dorsal and cream side patterns and a cream base that sometimes fires up to a yellow. The lavender crested geckos are more of a gray than they are of a purple. These guys are lavender when they're fired down and not when they're fired up. These guys fire up to be a dark base crested gecko. One of the most popular crested geckos in the market have to be the dark and cream crested geckos. The reason they're so popular is because of the contrast between the dark base and the light cream or white markings that you see on their dorsal and on their side. The tricolor crested geckos are harlequins that have a dark base and they have orange or yellow markings that come with white and cream creeping up on the laterals. Some of the nicest tricolors in the country are bred by Barbara over at Creepy Exotics. If you haven't seen our Tinley vlog, go check that out, link in the description, and you're going to see some of the nicest and most well-defined tricolors that anybody's ever produced. Now, aside from all these beautiful designer morph crested geckos, there are a couple one-of-a-kind geckos that I wanted to include in the video that basically are a genetic mutation that can't be replicated like a paradox kind of thing and some are yet to be proven out. The first of these oddball crested geckos would have to be patient zero. This is a piebald crested gecko. Piebald is basically a gecko that has a white background and just patches of pattern and color here and there. It's one of the most unique crested geckos out there for sure and to my knowledge hasn't been replicated. I do know of a couple other people in the country that have very similar geckos but this one would have to be the most extreme example of a piebald crested gecko. The next crazy looking crested gecko that I'm going to show you guys is a gecko called Frazzle. Frazzle is out of Tony's Geckos, I think he's in Las Vegas or California, out in the west coast. Um, but this guy is nuts. He has a bunch of red dots and a bunch of clusters or I don't even know if they're Dalmatian spots or not but they make up a very very unique looking gecko and definitely one of a kind. 
I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't seen our first video with the complete guide of Crested Gecko Morphs, the link will be down at the description. Now, you guys know the deal. If you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter if you like to keep up with our work. If you're looking for a Crested Gecko, one of these maybe designer Crested Gecko Morphs, feel free to check out our website. That's how we make our living, so we would appreciate any kind of support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Now, my cat is on the damn table. What are you doing? Basically a quad stripe that has take two. One of the most, one of the most, as if, if somebody just put a paintbrush of paint behind it. I'm messing up guys. Obviously if you're watching this video, oh, guys, this is not as easy as it seems. Oh my god. Link over down below, whatever.